Chile has been investing in its educational system uh, consistently for the last two decades. Education is, a, is one of the most important issues in the, in the public debate. The country is more aware and more convinced that education is the issue. You need to produce an agreement between government and opposition on what needs to be done in education. Not in four years, in ten years. With that solved, you, you start designing policies. And we had that condition of consensus because Chile was coming out of 20 years of tragic conflict. It was a political system with a thirst for agreement. We make full use of that. There's a vibrant um, policy debate um, and, and public debate on, on education reform and there have been a number of reforms over the last 20 years that um, have changed the structure of schooling. The first wave of reforms was to improve the stability and governance of the system, building the teacher morale, uh, raising salaries, teacher salaries were very low, and making teaching into a more attractive profession. The second wave of reforms modernized the system. It changed the infrastructure for providing education, from buildings to technology to time. Time is the house of education. Time was expanded drastically. We had until 1996 a system in which we serve our population in two shifts. Uh, primary school in the morning, secondary school, same buildings in the afternoon. Huge investment to offer a whole day schooling to the whole of your population. The country has been able to put every child uh, inside the school system. So we have universal education for all the primary school and mostly all uh, secondary school. We're still struggling there with dropouts of specific cases and that's certainly a, a one of the concerns. But uh, every kid who wants to go to school can attend to the school. And it is mandatory to have 12 years of education. We modernized our curriculum between 1996 and, and 1998. And we reoriented the subjects in order to enhance a set of capacities that we wanted to be instilled and acquired by, by our students. Capacity for abstraction, thinking in terms of systems, experimenting and learning to learn, communicating and teamwork, problem resolution, and managing of uncertainty. Let me give you a very concrete example. In language, the unit of teaching and learning was, was the sentence. In the new curriculum, the unit is discourse. Which is a step change in, in terms of complexity and, and demands on teachers and students. The main challenge in curriculum reform is teaching and the demands on a profession to do it differently, to play a new music that takes time. My own hypothesis about results picking up only now and not before is to do with the rhythm of acquiring practices that are fitting to the ambition in terms of goals of the new curriculum. That rhythm is, is much slower than what society accepts and, and desires. And, and that is part of, of the tensions that the profession is living through in Chile since, since the start of the reform.
I think the first waves of reforms were much easier because they weren't really demanding anything from the system. They were, it, was more, uh, it, it was more resources. So it was easier to mobilize support among stakeholders. Uh, the next wave of reforms, I think, is a lot trickier because it demands more of the system. It's providing more money, but it's demanding more accountability and results. We are very much aware that we are not receiving from the faculties of education uh, the, the teachers that Chile needs. And this is a main, main issue nowadays. We need to produce standards for teacher training. We need to examine them. We need to support their induction, a whole agenda. In order to improve the quality of teachers, we are providing 100% grants for students who are in the top uh, ranking of the high school system. So if you choose to study uh, education to become a teacher, and if you are a good qualified student, uh, you are going to be subsidized 100% on higher education by the state. We have a law in the Congress right now to put a mandatory test for students who end the university before they enter the actual work in the classroom. So we're able to know better uh, what is the specific uh, preparation of those teachers and also uh, that becomes a way to improve the university learning or teaching process. As a country, we are not uh, satisfied uh, with the results of the quality of our education. Uh, the main critique that we are making to our own system is that Chile wants to become a developed country and we feel that we're still far away from that goal. You are wrong expecting that raising your learning level in some points will very shortly uh, be mirrored in your economic performance, uh, but in the long run they are tightly connected.